welcome to the A-Phone video series on the LEM-1DL. This is Martin, and in this episode we'll be talking about how to wire the LEM-1DLS box set. To start, we need to open up the LEM-1DL to access the connection terminals. Remove the plastic nameplate to gain access to the screw that is holding the chassis closed. Once opened, we can see the terminal strip located on the back half of the chassis. The top two terminals are labeled positive and negative and are used for connecting to the power supply. Next are the 1 and the E terminals which connect the door station. At the bottom are the EL terminals which can be used to unlock a door or a gate. The EL terminals are a normally open dry contact, rated at a maximum of 30 volts AC or DC at 1 amp. If a normally closed contact is desired, such as when triggering a mag lock, you will need to use an external relay wired to the EL terminals. The external relay may require a separate power source. To connect the door station to the master, we will use a two conductor overall shielded wire. A 22 gauge wire will get you a distance of 650 feet between the door and the master, while using 18 gauge will get you 1,600 feet. For our demonstration, we will be using Aphone's 22 gauge stranded shielded two conductor wire. Let's attach the red conductor to the one terminal on the LEM1DL and the black conductor to the E terminal. Wire the same conductors to the one and the E terminals at the door station. Door stations with screw terminal connections like the LED and the LEDA come fitted with a metal jumper that links the E and the negative terminals together. Do not remove this jumper. Removing this jumper will prevent the door from calling the LEM1DL. If you purchased a vandal resistant door station such as the LESS, LESS1G, LESSR, or LESSV, you will see red, black, and blue wires instead of screw terminals. The red wire connects to the one terminal of the LEM1DL. The black and the blue wires get tied together and connect to the E terminal of the LEM1DL master. Next, let's add the power supply to the system. Simply connect a piece of two conductor wire from the terminals on the PT1210N power supply to the positive and negative terminals of your LEM1DL master station. If required, also connect your door release wires to the EL terminals. Once these connections have been made, let's reinstall the LEM1DL cover. And finally, plug in your PT1210N power supply. You are now ready to use the system. For additional information, please refer to the LEM1DL installation and operations manual or contact a phone. Thank you for watching. Oh,